I need to relocate a telephone jack in a kitchen. You want to check that out? You want to know how to work that out and do that yourself? Stick around. Now we've got a telephone jack here, right here, and it's kind of unsightly. Um, we've been doing some work in a little kitchen area over here at my aunt's house, and she's decided she wants that underneath this desk. And there's a little there's a little area of sheetrock wall underneath the desk. And so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to lower that down and put it into a little cut-in box. And actually it's 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 just a cut-in ring. That's this is what I'm going to put in the wall down below. See it's cut out. This is what they generally use for telephone jacks and sometimes like your cable TV, coaxial cable, stuff like that. They'll put something like that in. You don't have to have it in an electrical cut-in box, you know, for electrical. You can just have it in the back. There's some ears here that flop up behind. See, they, they push down like that. You cut the hole right in here. This, this outside ring fits on the wall. And then as you tighten this screw up, this goes up like that. This one goes up like that. Behind the sheetrock, see? Oh, okay. This one's up like that, and then you tighten it. Actually, it's down here. This one looks a little bit different than most cut-ins. And then it folds up like that behind the sheetrock. Okay? And then you tighten it up, see? This, this gets tight up against the back of the sheetrock. Okay, so if you haven't ever seen those at the hardware store, maybe you're looking in the wrong place. It's usually over by the telephone wiring and cabling. Mike, you just have to kind of look. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, what does that mean on the wall? Yes, we're going to have to tape that wall and skim it out, and we're going to have to put a little spray texture on there. Enough of that. First things first. Let's get this cover removed. And it's just this cover right here. Now it doesn't look that bad, but you got the wire setting there going over to the phone like that dangling. And tomorrow they're going to be taking this Formica countertop out, putting a granite counter in here, new sink, new faucet, new garbage disposal, new backsplash, and it's going to look all nice. So, so they want to kind of clean this up. And see where that where that alarm system is. There's the home alarm system, and there's the battery backup. The well, the little box uh, that plugs in there for the power and it fishes up there. We're relocating that too. The alarm's going to stay there, but the box over there is going to plug in underneath this counter. That's something else I've been working on. But I'm going to start working on this telephone first. That way I can patch the wall. And as the wall's patching, I'm gonna I've already installed a cut-in box underneath here for power. And if you haven't, and, and I'm gonna finish that today, but if you haven't watched that video, you know, you can check that out too on installing a cut-in box, how to how to install a cut-in box and, and that kind of thing. Okay? Stick around. and plug that. The first thing I got to do is take this cover off and there's two screws there. You undo those two screws and pull that cover off. Very simple to do. I tried to talk her into leaving this plate up here but she decided she didn't want that and you know we did some patching on the walls in the kitchen and some texturing and painting and stuff and anytime you do something like that, you might want to look around and see if there's anything else that, that you might want to change at the same time. This is something that she forgot about. And afterwards, she looked at that and stood back and thought, you know what? I don't like that there anymore. I just want the alarm keypad here from now on. And so, because we're in the throes of things, we're going to do it. Okay, so now here's the backing plate. And it's mounted with two screws up here. We're just going to undo that. We're going to try to keep this all together, okay? So that's the next step. 
just take these screws out of here, this one and that one. 